My name is Simi Sola Ogle, um, mostly known as Simi. I'm a singer, songwriter, and a sound engineer from Nigeria. Smile for me, even if you shadow. Be good to me, even if you battle. So I grew up as the only girl um, with three big brothers, and I was kind of a tomboy. Um, I really, really, I was attracted to music at a pretty young age. Not because people in my house were like musicians or anything. I just, I don't know, I just, I didn't listen to a lot of music. I was just drawn to the idea and just the, just the, just the, just the beauty of music, you know. And um, I was um, in the teens choir as a kid as well. And I, I was also in a group called Outstanding. So, I mean, that was where I spent most of my time, like, honing my skills and passion for music. I started with gospel music. I dropped the gospel album in 2008. Um, yeah, and I signed with my current record label in 2014. And, I mean, the hustle has been on since, ever since. What was my defining moment in my career that I actually, um, I think it was Jam Question. It was my first single, but I think it was my, I think it was when I felt like I had like a real chance, you know. I think when I put out Jam Question, I think the response that I got to that really triggered, you know, really triggered me. I would say Jam Question. The people that knew me knew my voice, knew my songs from Teeth and Jam Question. But when people started to like really recognize me, you know, like I would go places and people would like, oh, is that you? I think it was Soldier. Because Soldier, Soldier was, was, was really big. Last December, you won't come closer. Say what is the matter? It's the now Soldier. Say go fire. If I don't give up, no. You want to be my lover. I'm a sound engineer. I mix and I master. Basically, it's just post production for audio. You know, after you're done recording, putting the audio down, you know, putting your music, like the instrumentals down, you have to kind of make it mesh. Um, you have to edit so that it sounds right. If you hear the raw product, it's not always funny. You know, so you like just making sure that it's like getting it from like a raw product to like finished. You know, that's what it is. Um, so I do that so it takes like a lot of time so I don't come into people ask me and I just you know don't say yes to everybody but I've done like I mixed and mastered I think we goes first album I mixed and mastered the chemistry EP the um this I think we go second album I mixed most of the songs I didn't master my album I mixed I didn't master because it was driving me crazy I um and I've mixed them um, for Diary Ataladi as well. So I don't care. Money more bad. No, I don't care. You want it more fast. So I don't care. Well, like I said, I am a perfectionist. You know, I don't like to settle. I just hate it. Even if I'm tired, I'd rather go and come back. Um, so. First of all, to write a song, they, it can come in so many ways. Sometimes it's a melody that comes to you when you're doing something random. Like I was, I told every day, I was in the bathroom, you know, I had some sauce all over me and everything, and I just had this idea. I had to come out with the soap on my body to just record it, so I wouldn't forget it. You know, sometimes you have that there, and then you just go back, even if it's two months later, and you, you know, you can't fully flesh it. Sometimes I get a beat first, and I write to the beat. There's some songs where if I get the beat, like I got Jeremy beat. And if I wrote like five songs on that piece, I finally got the ones that I liked. You know, so it's like sometimes it's like a, you have to go and come back, you know. Um, and sometimes when I'm done, when I'm done recording, I might be mixing and I find I don't like something anymore and I redo it. So there's no one process. You know, every song is different. You know, depends on how you're feeling, depends on how I'm, just what I'm, what, where my head is at in that time.
It's almost like you're having fun with me. But oh, if I set my eyes on you, it's unavoidable. How come I'm done? Oh, I thought you were gone for good. So why you have to pull me back? Should be you say. Every song on my album seems a lot changes. Every day. When I first put the album out, it was Smile. Sorry, it was um, Original Baby. Because I feel like that's the, my most honest song on the album. It's the truest, most personal one. Um, sometimes it's Complete Me. Sometimes it's Smile For Me. But I think my all time favorite Simi song is Smile For Me. Why Smile For Me is because Smile For Me is. I just, I just think that it's such a beautiful song. I, when I listen to it, I feel like somebody else wrote it. Like I'm enjoying someone else's song. You know, I like the feeling that I get when I, I can listen to it over and over again. And I feel like it's one of my most evergreen songs. So I think that's why. Lie to me if the truth will break my heart too. See for me even though your voice did crackle. See the artist is more is more accommodating with her privacy. You know, like see me the person is a very I'm a very private person. I like to, you know, keep my business in myself or my really close friends. You know, I'm not I I don't go out much, you know, but see the artist has to go out. She has to come for interviews. <laughs> She has to um, go to clubs sometimes, you know. Um, so I think it's just more like how how out there I am. I think that's the only difference. But besides that, I feel like it's pretty much the same person. Like the things about my life that normally I wouldn't have been as private. I'm not. It's not like I'll be shouting it on the mic, but I won't be. I I won't try to be as private with because not people wouldn't care as much. You know what I mean? You know. But now I have to be very careful the kind of things that. You know, I put out there, you know, I talk about because people, I think for some reason, people just magnify it because, you know, the limelight is on you, you know, so I'm more, I'm, I try to be more careful and responsible with that kind of information. I'm not single, I haven't been single for years, but I, I'm not going to tell you who I'm dating. I mean, somebody knows him. <laughs> <laughs> you might know him, I don't know the people you know, so you might know him and I don't know that you know. <laughs> What industry? He's in an industry somewhere. <laughs> I'm not going to tell you what I'm dating. <laughs> He's in Nigeria. Yeah. There you go. I gave you a tip. Um, so I have a show happening in London um, at the O2 Islington on the 11th of November. 11th of November, see me live in London. 11th of November, I'm saying the date like three times so that Pooh not sitting here the first time. 11th of November, see me live in London, O2 Islington. You know, I'm going to be there with my band and we're going to have the time of our lives. I can't wait because this is my first headline show in London and, you know, I'm just like, I'm excited. It's like, it's not a comfort zone for me. You know, it's not Lagos, it's not Nigeria. So I'm just really excited to, you know, expand and just, you know, bring the music out, out here and just, you know, people that haven't heard me as well, I hope that they come so they can experience and want to know more and stuff. So, yeah, come to buy your ticket and come. Um, to all my fans and my supporters and my friends that have been having my back for this long, I just want to say a big thank you. I love you guys. You guys, y'all, you mean the world to me. I'm not saying this just for Hive because of the camera, but without you, like all this would just be me doing it just for just just to do it, you know. So you make it worthwhile. You give me the energy to keep going, and I'm so grateful. And I will do my best. By God's grace, to not disappoint you, keep on going and going and going and going and going and going, and going until they say cut. <laughs>